every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. We come to you with Style with Joy, Your Joy, and we talk about everything, tips and tools. But my friend, we're starting off this time around with a whole new type of agenda. Hello, ladies. Always good to see you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight, we're going to talk about a really good subject. But before we get started, I want to get some clarity because I've had some for myself and I want to share it with you. Many people think that I, Joy Ruffin, that I am an image consultant because in many ways, that's how I have been promoting what I do to you. But I want to clarify because there's an awakening here that has to be shared with you. And that is that I am not, in essence, an image consultant. I am a signature style specialist. It's all about style, your signature style. Now, we all love fashion. My background is fashion. Love it. Yet, I have to let you know that it's really not about fashion, especially if you are a woman, a lady like myself, and you're in your second act. We have all kinds of things that happen to us. It could be second act, second, second chapter, numerous things. But we're talking about your signature style and how you stamp that style to you. It's about how you discover, develop, and define a look that showcases and exhibits your personality, your fashion preferences, your style preferences, and what will highlight and have you sparkle and show up with the best confidence and presence that's powerful and innately yours. That's what I'm all about. What I'm going to do is I'm going to offer you all of the tips and tools and most importantly, my friend, all of the secrets that no one really shares with you. There are image consultants out there and they're really, really great. I worked for a very short time as an image consultant, but I discovered that it's so much more than that. Most women who are really about leadership and getting into the essence of who they are, they really want to know how to showcase all of the best that's within them, to rise and showcase that as they go out, meet and greet others that they want to share their leadership skills with, their abilities, and whatever it is that they have mastered, their zone of genius, so to speak. So I just want that clarification. And if you're here for the first time and you have not joined my public group, Leading Ladies, Leaving Legacies, Living Legacies, please do. Because that group will at some point in time segue into Style with Joy, which is a private group now. But I'll be sharing so much information with you that you are going to be blown away about how much you gather and you get for you and developing your style. Because my friend, it really is all about your signature style. Teresa Adair, always good to see you. Always a pleasure. I'm going to share with you things that nobody tells you, that nobody talks about. It's very easy to rush out or to have someone for you and put it all together. But if you don't understand the dynamics and the A to X, Y, Z about it, and if you're like somewhat me, you grew up in a family in an environment where the love for fashion was there. Redundant, right? I have three names. Pretty, new, popular, trendy, fashionable. Well, you had it. You wore it. And even attending the Fashion Institute of Technology, what I discovered is that we as women, in so many ways, because it's still, I'm not bashing men, not bashing by the widest stretch of the imagination. They still rule the garment fashion industry. They're still the leading designers, whether they're brand or just basic everyday designers. It doesn't matter. It's still the male entity that rules that market, that business. And so what's promoted and marketed to us until we get our stuff, my keyword is stuff this week, together and really know and understand our personality, our body shape, and what we like and whether it likes us back and all the other elements which we'll be going through together, then you don't have that. So what I want you to do is stay tuned. And if you're here for the first time, what I want you to do is to connect with me in this group. And then we'll segue to Style with Joy. I'm going to be talking a lot about everything that relates to the discovery and how you discover and develop and define your signature style. I think every woman wants that. Now, let's begin and talk a little bit about 
what we're talking about tonight. It's all going to always relate to style. This is not about body smashing. It's not about body shaming. It's not about anything that's negative about the body. It's about food for thought for you to be thinking about. And what I want you to be thinking about is simply this. I'm talking tonight about the two Bs. And by the way, before I get going with that, I want to put this up here. By the way, if you're watching the replay, make sure that you do hashtag replay so that I'll know that you were here because we know that many people come. Hello, Shauna. Oh, I love that name. No, I'm not clue how to read. <laughs> I'm talking to that woman like myself. And uh, Shauna, I love that name. I think that there are many like me. When you're in your 20s and your 30s, you can get away with everything, even murder, when it comes to style and how you style yourself. But as we age, things happen. It's just life. And we're gifted and we're blessed to be here still. Yet you cannot do and wear the same thing. And too many of us do that. And I think we do it because we don't know what we don't know. The only reason that I know, not only because I attended the Fashion Institute of Technology and learned all about fashion and style and design and all of that, merchandising, buying, and worked for as a buyer and did it all. I know now how important style is, especially for that woman in her second act. It can be second act, it can be second chapter. And that's why I label it leading lady, because you are your leading lady. And you have to know how to project and present yourself in the best light. So I want you to tag and invite your friends and then ask them to come along because we're going to be going into a lot of good information. Now let's get back to what we were talking about. I'm attempting to put up here my calendar link if you're here for the first time so that you can join with me here. And also you can offer, I'm offering you a free complimentary booklet, which is all about the beginnings of style, style for you and know it. We don't know what we don't know. And it's so often that we forget things. Now let's go to what we want to talk about tonight. And I want you to remember that I am your signature style specialist. And we're going to be talking a lot about that. But I want you to qualify the difference between an image consultant and a style specialist, a signature style specialist, which is what I am to you. It means what I come to you and help you develop, discover, and define a style that will showcase you in the best way. And if you have questions, I hope you'll put them here. Ah, all righty, let's go. And if you've not been here before and it's your first time, just put in to the box style and then you'll be delivered your brochure. Now tonight's topic, it's a sensitive one. I wanna leave you with this while I'm attempting to get rid of all of these names up here so we can do a chat chat one-on-one. -on -one. That is my intention. And in that, it is something that for many of us, it's a little touchy. And that being the case, I'm going to be ginger because I want to leave you just enough food for thought for you. I'm talking about the two Bs. Who out there knows what I'm talking about when I say the two Bs? The top B and the bottom B. What are we talking about? There's so many different names. So many different names. Top B, I'll just give you the most common one, which is our breast. And the bottom B has a lot of names. It's the backside. A lot of different names. I want you to think of some names before I leave. Hopefully, I'll be able to share some of them with you. Why do I want to talk about these? Because when it comes to signature style and how you stamp that to you, especially for those of us who are in our second act, when you exhibit, and for now it seems or it appears that it's all about hot and sexy. Well, I think every woman wants to be vital, vibrant and valuable in whatever she is about and however she is projecting. She doesn't want to be invisible. She wants to be seen. The top B is one of the seven erogenous zones. There is no need if you're a businesswoman, a leader, entrepreneurial, and you're in the process of putting together something for you. That's for your mate, 
your husband, your wife, your partner, your significant other. No one else has to be shown. Do you remember back in the day? And listen, I'm not a fuddy-duddy. I'm not back in the day old school, even though in some ways I am, but not on this particular subject. Because sexuality, femininity, and sensuality is very much a part of every vital, vibrant, valuable woman. That's just a given. So what I'm saying to you is this. That doesn't have to be showcased. And I was going on to tell you about, remember back in the day somewhat when electricians, I'm just giving out some names, nothing personal here, carpenters, plumbers, roofers, people like that who would come into your floor, people with the floors on down for you, and they would bend down or bend over, and then you'd see the back where the pants would drop and you would see the divide there. And that was like a big standing joke for a while, especially for comedians male and female. And it was funny. It was a laughing kind of matter. Men, every shape, tall, thin, every silhouette, every size. Yet somehow for women to do this, it's a different ball game. But in point of fact, my friend, it is not. Because for those of us who are in our second act, even if you go to the gym every day, you do the Zumba and the, the Pilates and everything else and walk, any and every exercise. You eat, you do all the things that you do. Aging is inevitable. Growing old is a whole nother topic, which we discuss one-on-one -on -one when we connect. But what I want you to remember is this. There's no need. You're business women. You're leaders, entrepreneurial. So all you have to remember is that that's for you and the five people that I mentioned, and no, no matter what category they're in. And as far as the back bottom B, so many names, the backside, the bottom, the touche, the bomb, the derriere, it goes on and on. I want you to just think about this and I want you to put in the comments for me, when do you think it, now the top B has always been a focal point of conversation, right? But when did it become, there has been back to the top enhancement, enlarging and expanding and also taking down a step, the, uh, uh, resizing where it's not as large. So, but the number one was always to enlarge, to enhance. But when we get to the bottom B, I want your comments. And I wanna know what you struggle with the most, but I also wanna ask you this. When did the backside, the bottom B, become so popular? Who made it popular? And who decided that that was an element of a woman's femininity, sexuality, and sensuality that had to be showcased and shown, or she had no of the three. Now, I have my opinions, but I want to hear what yours are. When did that become popular? And when did women start to go? They slipped off to Mexico and other places. And more women than you want to know, this wasn't just a certain category of women to have this enlarged as well, meaning the bottom B. I want you to think about that because the answers that you come up with are important. Let me say this to you, everybody, every shape, every silhouette, silhouette is ideal in its beauty. When it comes to, we'll, we'll talk about this another time, but it's almost like leggings, jeggings, tights, and all of these this type of a, a garment that's very popular now because casual is so popular. When did women decide that most, so many, that this was an okay outfit garment to wear everywhere? It's almost like when you go to an art gallery and you go to view the artwork and you see the nudes that are displayed, the Rubenesque, most of them, you don't see many thin, shapely, far spin women. They're all Rubenesque in some way. The majority. There are always exceptions. We know that, right? But when did it become popular? And who made it popular that this was to be another area of the feminine body, the female body to be showcased? These are the things I want you to think about. Because when it comes to your signature style, and how you stamp that style to you, it's very important that you understand and know this. And my opinion is not half as important as what you think. 
because you need to be giving more thought to is there a need to showcase either one of them, meaning to have them highlight it, no matter the size or shape, or is the overall signature style that captures you in your best light, is that what you want? That's all I want you to think about and how it's going to work for you. And here's a, a food for thought I want to leave you with. Slowly but surely, I want you to begin, I want you even to write this down and remember this. Make a note. The lady which was put on the back burner and that ladylike appearance, which was kind of outdated and outmolded, hmm, slowly coming back. That where the backside, the bottom B was just showcased in every way possible. And most really, because listen, I'm talking about women, those of us who are in the second act. There are always exceptions, my friend. I'm talking about the majority. Lumps and bumps, cellulite, wiggles and jiggles, and so many other concerns that we deal with. But we're blessed to be here. What we do is we learn how to mask. We learn how to disguise. We learn how to masquerade them in a way that there's not, that everyone knows that they're there, but they don't have to be seen and they don't have to be obvious. And what's happening with some of the garments that are being worn today, especially by women in the second act, not so much the young girls. Young girls, listen, they're not as shapely and as well formed as they ought to be because of technology. And most of us are sitting and doing all these things with our cell phones that the physical is not as involved and we are not as active as we used to be. And I'm, this is a broad generalization so that many of them have to work harder too to have a body that's ideal. Well, first off, everybody's not. First off, everybody is ideal. That's all you have to remember. It's not about whether you are a size eight or three X. It's not about whether you are thin or heavy or thick. It's not about any of that. It's about knowing, understanding, and the value that you have for your body, that you wanna showcase it, exhibit it, and present it in the best way. Where your style, confidence, and the presence is always strong, and it represents you in the best light. That's what we're talking about this. That's the important thing that you have to remember. I want you, if you're coming in for the replay and you're here, for the first time, or if you're coming back again and again, like some of my loyal and faithful, make sure that you tag and invite your friends and let them know that we're here and ask them to join the group as well. Because we are growing here and we are developing a community of women who really refuse to just go away. We don't want to be invisible. I remember, and I hope you do, one of the famous quotes, and everyone who knows me knows that the, the love for quotes is, is authentic, it's real. Marianne Williamson, I think is the one who said this, I have to think for a minute, I'm sure it was her. She said, it is not our inadequacies that we fear. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. And it is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us the most. Now that's very powerful. Because as one ages and we go into the second act, the second chapter, whatever verbiage you want to give it, things happen. And you can't do what you did. Well, you can. But if you really want signature style and something that projects you in your best light and shows you that you're still not invisible, you're vibrant, you're valuable, and you're visible in the best way, then you want to develop, discover, and define a signature style that works for you. That said, oh, I love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It seems to be in the number one slot so far. <laughs> you like it as well. That's funny. Well, one of the things that's going to happen here as we get to know each other more, every week when I come to you, I'm going to be coming to you with everything imaginable that you relates and connects to style. But what I want you to remember is this. I am your signature style specialist. None of us, we don't know what we don't know. And I want to share with you a little incident that happened to me many, many moons ago before I say so long for now, because most of you will be able to relate and connect to this, I'm sure. While attending the Fashion Institute of Technology, I, thinking that I knew a lot about fashion and that I was really up to speed with my outfit that I put together for this event that we were all invited to, 
I want to tell you that when I arrived, I was blown away from embarrassment. I felt so out of place. And this is indelible in my craw right now, which is a noodle, because I looked around and I saw all of these women, not all, but enough that I said, I want to be like that too. They were so well put together in their simplicity that you just knew that this was a look and the style that fit them best. I had on something that was very pretty. It was new, it was trendy, but it wasn't for me. And I didn't know that until I arrived there. And I, you know how you go and you feel, you have that feeling, you just know. What, and that is that inner struggle, that inner game that we all play. Why, why can't I feel? You don't have the confidence. You don't have the presence and the style and the power because it's not right for your personality, your body shape. Pretty new, popular, trendy, and fashionable. It's always going to be there, but the trick and the tips and tools and the secrets that I'm going to share with you as your signature style specialist is that you can develop and have a style that works for you and you only. It's not for your sister, your mother, your aunts, your best friend. Their look is their look. You're going to develop yours. And then if you want to, and if you feel that you need to, you won't. Hire an image consultant to go shopping for you. You are in charge of you. You've added the magic to your knowing. And you can go with them and shop. Because one of the things that, that left me here, and I'm not knocking image consultants. I have several in my arsenal of friends that I adore because they're darn good at what they do. I had one friend who said to me, I hired an image consultant and I went and everything was fine. But then later it, I found out 90% of the stuff I returned because it wasn't me. There was nothing wrong with the outfit and the garments that were selected, but they weren't her. What I'm working with you to do as your signature style specialist is helping you to define what your fashion preference style is that works best for you. Because it's all about you and it's our time. It's our time to rise and to be all that we can be. Now, one of the things that is important for you to know is that many of the tips and tools and the secrets that are out there they're not going to tell you. When I mentioned to you earlier, not knocking, that predominantly men still rule this industry. They have a muse that they design for, which is fine. And some of, let me just back up. Many of the male designers are exquisite. They are delicious. They're really great. So many of them are not. And it's not about the price point. It really isn't. You're wasting money if each and every time you walk into that closet, and you're seeing a lot of stuff, a lot of clothes, but you're always hesitating. You never know what to wear. And that only happens when you really have not discovered your signature style and what works best for you. So we began there and we go from there and we make it fun. You'll enjoy it, believe me. Please join if you're coming here for the replay. It's always good to see you here. I always say, welcome to the show. Thank you for coming because it's always good to see you here. I want you to go to Leading Ladies, Leaving Legacies, Living Legacies, that's you. And I want you to join the group. And then as we get to know each other more and more and more, all the things that I'm putting together and putting into style with joy, you hopefully will be able to come and join that group and be a part of the workshops that will be put together for you. There's a lot that I'm working on now that's going to be absolutely ideal for you. And this is for that woman who really wants to know how to dress, where she stands in her power, her presence with the best confidence and never that nagging, I'm not sure. You're going to be sure because you're going to know what works for you. And that's all that's important is what works for you. It's not about what works for somebody else. It's about what works for you. Now, if you don't have questions now and you're coming for the replay, it was Marianne Williamson's quote. Yes, that's a beautiful quote. And I hope that you, because when it comes to style, many women hesitate to stand out, but you can stand out with the highest regard and respect. And we're not talking about edgy. And if you're the dramatic type, your fashion style, your preference, your one category, you can have a couple of others and you can have some drama in there and it can be a little edgy. 
And that's okay, but you'll be able to carry that because your personality and the event and wherever you're going, you'll be able to, to manage that. But what I want you to do is share out this video. And what I'm going to do is a watch party so that people can get to see this and join and connect in with the, oh, thank you, Adair, I really appreciate that. I want you, oh, you like the picture. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be doing a lot of things to bring more people in because I know that those of us, because I know the struggles that I've gone through to develop and redefine and keep on top of my style, meaning that there were lots of changes that had to be made, but they were made in the best way so that they would still reflect the inner me. And that's what you want. And I know that. So what I'm going to ask you to do is just make sure that you get your complimentary brochure. Type in the word style, S-T-Y-L-E, in the comments, and your booklet will be automatically delivered to you. And then as we keep going here each and every week, I'm going to make sure that you get information that will get you more in line and in gear with you because it's really all about you. Forget about your best friend and your not so good friend and the ones that you want to maybe copy a little bit. We're going to discover what's best for you. That's the key here. And we're going to do that in ways that you will enjoy the discovery and the exploration of you will be fun because that's how I intend to make it for you. I always say thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure to join with you because I love company and especially good company. I'm hoping that you'll spread this video out everywhere that you can think of because what I want you to do is know that the service that I'm providing and offering for you is to help you avoid all the mistakes and the waste of money that you can make in developing a signature style that fits you. Women in their second act, we need each other more than ever. We need to be independent, we need to be confident, we need to be strong, and we need to present ourselves in the best light because the younger generation, they need us more than ever. So we are the exemplary examples for them. Thank you for being here, it's always a pleasure. Join me next Wednesday night, it'll be Leading Ladies, Leading Legacies, Living Legacies, and we'll be meeting with a lady, oh my, 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 I can't wait for you to meet her. Her background is going to floor you. And we're going to start talking more about style. I'm going to be asking her, what is the number one outfit? And I want you to be thinking about this too, that you put on, that you know that you always look great, you feel great, and that's the outfit for you whenever you have to go anywhere and you're not sure. These are the things we're going to talk about. I'd love it if you'd let me know what that outfit is because that's the outfit we're going to build on. And I'll show you exactly how we do that. Thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure. One of the things that I want you to do, let's see. You know my name, so I don't have to show you my name again. But I did want to give you this. If you're coming here for the replay, make sure that you go here and you can sign up for a complimentary with me. And we'll find out what you struggle with most. What's working, what's not working. And then I'm going to help you to define what you want to work better. That's very, very important. And it's complimentary. There's so much on the horizon for you, so please stay tuned. It's always good to see you here. And know that each and every Wednesday at seven o'clock on my Facebook business page, and then these uh, videos will be channeled off in different directions, but you're in a good spot, you're in a good place. It's always good to be with you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Ladies, be well. Take good care of you first. Do the best that you can because then you'll be able to serve and be of service to others. So long for now. See you next week. Enjoy the rest of your week. All the best. So long for now. Cheers.